Hello from Slider and hello from Weaves. What's up, folks? In the last vid, I showed you guys how on save instant state and on restore instant state methods are called within the life cycle of your activity. Remember? So in this vid, I'm gonna build upon what I already talked about, and I'm gonna show you how to use those methods to actually save information. So that being said, if you guys remember, your activity object is always held in the memory. Uh, when the app is paused or destroyed unless your system actually has no memory left to save the activity right so that being said whenever your activity is paused your on save instant state is called to save information now remember as i mentioned already there are two types of information one is the database one and other is something which you temporarily need for example if you're playing temple run on your android app you need to keep a track of the score right just because you rotated the device the score doesn't become zero does it so in those cases those kinds of information that you need only when your app is running are stored and saved inside your on save instance state method so how do you actually save it well, your on save instant state has this parameter called bundle. Now, Android operating system gives you this variable bundle, which is actually just a map. If you guys remember the map data structure in basic Java or C or C++, it, you give it a key and you give it a value, and right? And you put the information like that. And then to get the information, you just give the key and it gives you the value, right? You have methods like out.put int, put string, put care, put blah blah blah. We'll see in Eclipse how these methods are. But for now, all you need to remember is out.put something. Those are the methods which you have for saving information inside your on save instant state method. So this is one part of the discussion. Again, there is something you guys should remember. Always call super dot on save instant state. Now, if you remember the last presentation, I had an edit text, right? And I gave it an ID saying ID slash text. And that is when your information was actually saved automatically, right? So all that part of saving information automatically is done inside your super class method on save instant state. So be sure to call it. Otherwise, your view data won't be saved. So that being said, let me go to the other thing. Yeah back button you save information but you cannot restore information with the back button is pressed because your activity is actually finished the user i mean the android operating system assumes that your activity is not needed anymore you have your on restore instance state method if you guys remember once your activity is destroyed and created back your on restore instance state is called now one thing you guys need to remember have you seen the on create method closely there is a bundle parameter inside the on create method if you guys remember the same bundle is passed to your on restore instance state which means you can either use the on create method to get the data back or you can use the on restore instance state to get the data back so all these days if you guys are wondering why you have the bundle parameter inside on create method this is the reason why because both that it is used to restore the information back i will show you in eclipse how that works but for now you can hear this is what you need to remember Again, your on restore instance state gets the same bundle. Now, this is the bundle containing the information which you already saved. Remember that you just need to get that information out by saying in dot get int string uh, boolean whatever, right? And again, super dot on restore instance state. Remember, just the way you restore your information back, the same way Android also needs to restore the information from edit text button text view blah 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 so that being said on restore instance state you need to make sure that you call the super class implementation of that and remember cannot restore state after a back button is pressed so let me actually go into eclipse and show you guys a real working demo of this so here inside my eclipse i have my android developer tools basically i have a simple app which says hello world there's nothing great about this this is the default code i have not written a single word inside this all right whatever has been done is already done so that being said i'm gonna must go to my source file over here again here there is nothing i can remove this menu all right so that being said first let's actually f decide what to do we need to still store store some information each time the on the user sees the app what we want to do is we want to show how many times the user has actually seen the app so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a counter variable zero each time the user sees your app this counter should increase and you should have a log message saying one time two times three times or whatever all right now if you guys remember when does the user see the app the user sees the app when your on resume method is called so that being said i'm gonna go here and overwrite on resume control space right so you can avoid the task of writing everything and here i have my on resume right so inside this what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna increase my counter by saying counter plus plus each time on resume is called this counter will increase right and now whenever my activity is paused 
right i need to save that information for for that i'm going to say on save instant state control space again for having the auto complete so this bundle out state this is the map or you can say the bag inside which i should put my information so i'm going to say out state dot put int i'll call the value key as counter and i'll put the value inside as counter all right i'm just giving this a name calling counter and this is the actual value which i'm saving inside this map so whenever my on save instance state is called this value is going to be saved that the counter value now whenever my activity is destroyed and created back if you guys remember on restore instance state gets called so i'm going to go ahead and overwrite that again saying control space on restore instance state so here what i'm going to do is i'm going to simply get that information out if you remember this bundle which you have here is actually the information contained inside right so i'm going to say saved instance state dot get and i'm going to give the same counter over here right and that is going to give me back my integer so which i can uh, say over here by saying uh, int value something like this or i can actually say counter itself no need for int value i can say counter equals to this so whenever i save my value it's actually saved instance state dot get int that should do the perfect trick so whenever i'm saving my value what i'm going to do is i'm going to have a log statement over here by saying log dot d and i'm going to give a tag called vivs and i'm going to say the message as counter and i'm going to say was saved all right the same thing i'm going to copy paste and when i'm restoring restoring my values over here i'm going to say counter was restored so let's basically see what we have done we have a counter is zero all right each time our app is visible to the user inside on resume we are increasing the counter each time our activity is about to be uh, after, after pausing it we are saving the activity data this counter variable is saved inside this bundle object and we are logging that right that means we are going to see this messages over here inside the log cat and here i'm restoring the value back right so let me actually run this by selecting this over here and clicking run on it android application okay so now as you guys can see our app has started right so if we actually go to the home screen if you remember pause will be called on save instance state will be called right so that being said let's take a look it says one more saved that is you remember on resume we increase the counter by one again i go inside my app over here inside the app widget section i start my app by saying demo with states that's two times because on resume has increased now right so let me actually rotate the screen by saying control f11 now if you remember state two was saved and again two was restored remember because your activity was destroyed and after destruction on restore instance state is called and hence the value 2 will be restored over here by saying out state here inside this part where we say uh, out state dot get int the value 2 which is already passed inside this will be restored right so but remember one thing if you press the back button everything is screwed so if you press the back over here and we are dead so now if i click on my app demo with states after my back button was pressed if you go back here the app has started right if i go to my home screen now take a look it says one was saved it was not two which was saved because if you remember it go it went back all the way to zero and inside on resume it went by saying counter plus plus to one and then here actually one was saved that means whenever you press the back button your information cannot be restored so i hope you guys have understood something out of this vid if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment let me know your thoughts i would love to hear from you guys thanks for watching stay tuned there will be more vids on android i'll catch you guys later have a nice day